Guys, what we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be showing you how to use the Metasys imaging tool, the uh, Johnson Controls imaging tool to re-image an NCE or an NAE. Uh, the tool, of course, is something that is, it changes uh, over time just as any software revision does. The version that I have, which is version 11.1, will not re-image a lot of the newer devices. If you have a device that is at 907, you will not be able to re-image that device with that tool, or at least I've not been able to. But an older device, you should be able to use it to re-image the device. The first thing that you need to do is, of course, connect a switch to your device, connect also your laptop through a network cable. Uh, some of these you can do over a network but uh, you know it, it's helpful if you're doing one locally to do it on uh, directly connected. Turn off your wireless just like that because you don't want it to try to go out and grab something that it doesn't need. Go into your uh, control panel which the easiest way to do it on Windows 10, you know, if you don't have you a shortcut created, you should, and uh, but just do a search for control panel. Okay, we're gonna open up our control panel. I'm gonna go into my network and sharing options. I want to go up to change adapter settings, double click ethernet. You wanna make sure on this window here, click Properties, click on the this right here, Internet Protocol version. Okay, make sure that you're set for uh, basically DHCP enable. Okay, and on your laptop, it seems to work a little smoother, at least in my experience. And then hit OK. I'm going to hit OK again, and then I'm going to close this out. All right, I'll just leave this window open because there's something else that we're going to be using it for briefly. Okay, now I'm going to go to the, uh, I'm going to open up my information tool. I like to have that open as well. So we open it up and just pull it over to the side. I'm then going to grab the image tool and open it up and here is what you'll see uh, you know if you don't see this down here at the bottom go up to your options and then en enable the advanced mode right there okay that's a little bit helpful on some things now the first thing that we need to do from here is go up to the NAE NIE NCE button here click it. I'm going to select add. It's going to give me a list of each of the individual devices here. And what I need to do is to go over and select NCE25, which is what this device is. Okay? It's going to populate the window here with this screen. Now, you will need to have a copy of the image for the device that you are going to be re-imaging. Okay, right down here in this box here, I'm going to click this square, and then wherever you have that image saved to is what you need to get. Right here is the image that I have for this device. Okay, I'm going to hit save or open. All right, in this window here, I need to enter the device MAC address. Over here I need to select this to PXE only. Alright, now what we're going to do here is I'm going to enter that device MAC address and we will be right back. Now that I've got the MAC address for the device entered, what you can do is to enter a hard-coded IP address for that device if you guys do that, or you can leave the enable DHCP checked, which is what we're going to do in this case. Again, make sure 
that we are using the PXE only and I am going to go ahead and I'm going to press the OK button down here at the bottom. Press OK. What it's going to do here is it is going to populate this window with all of your information. From this point, what you will do is either cycle power on the device or you can press this reset button and once you do that the update will automatically start when the device reboots and the run light comes on. You should see with your information tool as it is rebooting you will see the device populate in here with the address that it pulls and everything else. And one thing that I also want to mention before you do any of this process, it is a very good idea to reboot your laptop. It will help keep that device from failing. Anyways, guys, hope this video was helpful to you. Be sure to check out the links down in the description. Leave any questions down in the comments below. Please share the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.